Hello everyone, this is VZ32 and I'm back again today with another deck review today. Little deck, little deck of horrors, little deck, little deck of horrors, da 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 da. <laughs> you deck from losing this little deck of horrors, or just known as horrors, I suppose. <laughs> Stay tuned. Alright, so this is the latest from losing this, the little deck of horrors. It's printed by Carter Munde. It seems they've decided to start using Carter Munde, which is pretty interesting. Front of the box, I think it's the front, is a mummy skull. Some white colors. Um, but this deck is designed basically as a celebration of the scary ghost train. It features, as you can see, a glow of a neon fairground lights on there. And we'll get into the faces in a bit. It says playing cards on the one side and a lightning bolt thing on the other. A little deck of horrors on top or bottom. I guess that's the top. Add this illusion add copy information on the bottom of the barcode. And in the back is a different skull. It's a side opening tuck case, which some people like, some don't. It says boo. <laughs> and some pips. Yay. It is pointed by Carter Munde on their B9 Linen Finish, which is amazing. You get an Illusionist ad card and your back design. It's four skulls with neon -y colors. You get a double backer as well. The Jokers are ghosts. Um, the faces. It's holding a necklace for some reason, I'm saying. The faces of this deck are haunted, if you will, by uh, ghosts and goblins and ghouls, which they misspelled. They put ghouls as G-O-U-L-S. It's G-H-O-U-L-S. Who was uh, spelling this? A Chinese guy? Somebody in China? No, no offense or anything like that. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, it's just a big typo. I the aces, they feature some skulls, uh, repetitive skulls, repeating skulls. Almost an orangey color for the hearts and diamonds. Um, the aces, look at that, it's Medusa. <laughs> uh, sorry, the court cards. Court cards, I'm totally confused. It's Medusa. All sorts of weird looking guys. Just faces, that's it. Not your traditional court cards, which I'm not a huge fan, they could have made it more traditional looking. Also, custom pips on a number of cards. And that is that. Like I said, pointed with that nice finish and stock card of Moon Day. So it handles great, it looks okay. That design's nice. The faces are a little disappointing to me. I would say Probably a seven out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten, I'm gonna say, just because the handling is very nice. It's worth checking out if you've never handled a Carter Munde deck with this new finish and stock they got. But that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.